Hello, my name is Lynn and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about my favorite reads of 2021. So last year wasn't the greatest. I don't have a lot of favorite books. I have six books to talk about and some honorable mention. First, I'm gonna mention the reread. Of course, I reread, I think I reread the book every year and it is Daddy Long Legs by Jane Webster. It's one of my favorite books and this time I listened to the radio play we have here in Latvia for the story and it always will be a favorite of mine, mostly because of nostalgic reasons, but that's all I'm gonna say about this one because it is a reread. Now we we'll talk about the favorite books and I'm gonna talk in the order I finished them. So that's the order they are in. So the, my first favorite of the year was Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I finally got to the series. I read both of the books. I have Cricket Kingdom here too. So I really enjoyed the series. I love it. One of my favorite series ever. But the first book definitely was my favorite. So it's a story about six people who join together to do a really dangerous heist and yeah how they succeed or don't succeed what happens it's all in this book and it is amazing my favorite character is Inej and I really loved Jasper and Violin that relationship <laughs> It is something really, really dear to me now. I loved this book. I even have a dedicated vlog. I intended to start a new series on my channel, but I have only one video for it, and it was for Six of Crows. The next book I have is The Lake House by Kate Morton. This is a two timeline story where past mysteries are looked into nowadays. 70 years ago, this little boy just disappeared one night and now this detective has come across the story and tries to figure out what actually happened. And it's about those two timelines and what actually happened. <laughs> so we find out. And I love these two, two timeline stories when there are past mysteries that are somehow connected with the present timeline. I don't know what is so fascinating about that to me, but I really love them. Next book is Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Iimide. This is a YA thriller set in a private academy where these two kids are targeted by a secret villain who is sending out text messages revealing their secrets pictures, videos, things like that, and it was scary. It was really scary because things like that can happen and might be happening in real life, and that is the scariest part. But I really enjoyed the two main characters. I liked the confidence of Chiamaka, the main female character, so it was just such a great read. I don't know how to explain it, but it was amazing. Then I have The Core of the Sun by Johanna Sinisalo. This is a dystopian novel set in Finland by a Finnish author. And it was really, really interesting because it's kind of happening nowadays, but something happened years ago where they kind of cut themselves off for the rest of the world and how they have, like, how their society now works. It was really interesting. The, like, the roles for people are set differently. There are people who can reproduce and there are people who can't. And, yeah. And the big role for in this novel is for chili peppers because they, it is some kind of a drug, like the something in the chili peppers is a drug. And the main character is kind of a dealer, a tester of the drug. It was really fascinating and I really enjoyed this dystopian setting for a novel. Then I have 
Kingdom of the Wicked by Karin Mariscalco. A lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it, and I'm the one who loves it. I really enjoyed the story of two twin sisters. One of them is killed and the other one accidentally makes a deal with Prince of Hell to find out who killed her sister. Because it turns out he's interested too. And Wrath, the Prince of Hell, oh my god, I don't know, I loved it. I really, really loved their banter. And yeah, it's just, it is. it was amazing. It might not be like the most amazing story or whatever, but I love the experience of reading this book. And yeah, it was great. And I can't wait for the sequel. And the last book on the actual favorites list is The Wicked King by Holly Black. I didn't love the first book that much. I enjoyed it enough to pick up the sequel but I didn't expect to love this book as much as I did. I don't know what exactly I loved it. The first book is about Jude, who is living in this fairy land. She and her sister were kidnapped and their parents were killed and they were taken and they grew up in this fairy world. And yeah. I don't know. First one, I didn't like the bullying part, but in this one, it is not present. And there's not much to say about the sequel to not spoil the story, but I just... I enjoyed where it went, how the relationships were. It was just great. I loved it. And now the honorable mentions. Books that I enjoyed a lot, but just something we're missing to put them on the favorites list. The first honorable mention is Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is a wonderful romance book about Chloe and she has a near-death experience, kinda, and she decides that she wants to live her life and she makes a list of things she wants to do and there is this guy, Redford, who helps her tick off some of those things from her list. I really enjoyed the main character. She was amazing. There is chronic illness rep in this book, but what I like the most, how the main character is plus size, but it is just a fact and it is not like a big deal. It never is made to be a big deal in this one. I don't know, for some reason, the body positivity was what really attracted me to this book. The one downside why it didn't make the favorites list is the sex scenes in this one. I didn't wipe the, them, not at all. It's not like they were bad or what, but the way where they were. No, no, that wasn't for me. Next I have Daisy Jones and the Sex by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I actually like this one better than her previous book, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I really enjoyed the style, how it's written. It's kind of in an interview where the members of the band, the T. Jones and the Sex, are telling the story, how the band came together and until the moment they split up. And I find it really fascinating and as I said, the writing style I really enjoyed. It's a, as I said, it's about a band, Daisy Jones and the Six, how they came together, like Daisy Jones and band the Six, and what happened with them. It was really interesting. It's set in the seventies. There is sex, drugs, and rock and roll, <laughs> basically. So yeah, it. The one thing that I didn't like was the drug use, but that's kind of my personal thing, I understand that it was a part of the setting of the world they live in, but yeah, it's just not my thing. Then I have A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. This is a fantasy book with a really interesting setting. It is set in a world where if the queen has two daughters, the two daughters 
have to fight to death to figure out who will be the next queen. Only one can live. And it is before... The story is happening before one of the sisters comes of age, right before they can kind of start the fight. And I really find the world fascinating because there are different creatures in this world, like vampire things and things like that. And my favorite part was the main character and the relationship with her kind of found family, with her team, with her best friend from childhood who is her guard too and the person that comes into life to teach her how to use her magic because she has the magic of blood and marrow and it is considered a really dangerous and she's feared for it because of it but yeah i really enjoyed this setting the world i will be definitely continuing with the series and the last book i'm going to mention in this list as Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is my first Sanderson book and I really enjoyed it. It's a story about Spencer who wants to go to flight school but she is faced with a lot of challenges because her father was kind of labeled as traitor because he supposedly fled a battle but she doesn't believe it's true and she wants to find out what actually happens so she gets to that school and things happen from there. It was really interesting. My favorite character was the space slug. It doesn't have a big role because it's just a slug, but it was amazing. And there is the spaceship like with AI who can talk. I love spaceships who have personalities. <laughs> so yeah, great read too. But I can say what was missing for it to be a favorite, but I really enjoyed it. These were my favorite reads of 2021. Please let me know, are any of these your favorites? Maybe some of them are your least favorites. Please let me know that too, because I find it really fascinating how one book can be favorite for someone and someone else can really hate it. It is really interesting. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye!